Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. If you've got one of these and you've got a tight budget and you cannot afford an Oculus Rift, there is a solution for you because recently on eBay, where else? I've purchased one of these and this is a VR box um, Oculus Rifty type headset. So let's unbox that. It comes in a plain brown box. Pop the lid. Bit of plastic inside. Remember, it's mainly plastic. There's a few bits and pieces like lens cloth and things like that. I've already had it out, so I'm not going to bother going through the various bits of paper in the bottom. You don't need that. First of all, the headsets, uh, it was about £20, you know, £19. It's available on Amazon. It effectively uh, will turn your mobile phone into a... Google Glass, Oculus Rifty type thing, not quite Oculus Rift. Um, it works for a variety of phones. Your phones fit into this caddy, which then slides in. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. On the top, you've got individual eye adjustments. So this is great. So you can actually adjust the closeness to your eye and your, oh, I guess it's the distance between your eyes. So that's great, especially if you have odd shaped eyes. Um, also, it has a conveniently a little window that you can pop out if your camera has a sorry if your telephone has a camera which it almost definitely does so that way you can do some of the augmented reality things let's just pop this on the head see here how it fits i've got this the strap quite tight it's actually digging into my face a little bit so i'll have to adjust that in a moment so let me demonstrate the whole putting the phone into the caddy and then how you operate this because something you'll notice there's no buttons on the unit. And a few weeks ago, I tried one of the Samsung units, which is designed by Oculus, allegedly, and it does have a lot of buttons, and it's a very nice system, and the phone sits into the USB ports and things like that. Don't get me wrong, it's a completely different and totally different value proposition. Um, but I did get used to using the buttons on the side to click things, and you'll see there's none on here. So without further ado, let's pop the phone in. So you take your caddy out spring-loaded so different size phones can go in there okay just wait for that to focus a bit for you all right come on come on focus focus all right it's not gonna doesn't matter take your phone now you have to pop it in the caddy now depending on where your buttons are on your phone you have to be a bit careful because they might hit the spring so it actually comes with some rubber pads that you might be able to see in there okay so these rubber pads are used to just stop the buttons from touching the sides. So the buttons on this phone will align here, so the rubber pads give it a few mil standoff. So I'm just going to clip that in. So there we go. And oh, it's a bit awkward. I mean, I've got a Nexus 6, and I think it's pretty much maximizes the size of you're ever likely to want to put in this caddy. You can see it's really jamming it in there. Unfortunately, you can see the camera also is just in the right place, which is great. So I'm gonna turn that on. Yeah, how do I turn it on now that it doesn't have the button accessible? That's another bit of a design flaw. Here we go. You can look at photographs, you can go on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube content actually in uh, 3D, which I didn't realize. So I'm going to go to Cardboard Demos, and just to show you here also, you've got Google Street View, which is really cool. You can actually go through the uh, maps on that. So let's go to the Cardboard Demos. There we go. So you can see now the, the twin screens. Okay. So take your viewer. Right, just slide that straight in. And then maybe you can just about see there's a picture. And it's moving with the actual unit. So as, as you look around, the whole thing adapts. So I'm just going to adjust the eye things for my face. And there we go. And it's great. You know, I'm looking around and, you know, frankly, oh, within a few moments, you're, you're almost completely disconnected from the world. You feel like you can walk around and you're going to really do yourself a, a mischief. Now, the, without, the lack of buttons is actually a big problem now. So I can see icons when I turn around here, but just behind me, and I can't select the buttons because there's no buttons here. 
So what was my solution to this? I went on the internet again, because I was rather disappointed, and I found this. This, I don't even know what it's called. It's got a big sticker over it. But what this is, and we'll just throw away the packaging because you don't really care. It's about a fiver, comes in a box. Whoops. It's called a gamepad allegedly because it says that on the back, gamepad. So the USB charging wire for it, you plug in the end and you charge this up and then you've got this neat little joystick. So you can see it's, it's actually like an analog stick with four buttons here. And I guess here's a button that says start and on. So let's have a go. I've actually never tried this. So we'll take the phone out. Assuming this, this device has just popped up on the bottom here. Pairing. Great. So there's a button on it too that says iOS and Android. So I'm not really sure when that comes into play. Probably when you power it up, if you hold down one or the other, it'll do something. Oh, okay. Something's happening. You can see it's already interfering in some ways with the screen. We all think we're smart, don't we? But numpty.am, I failed to read the user manual. And in my arrogance, I didn't realize that this actually has loads of functions on it. So there's a switch on the side that says between game and key. That's a little slider switch. But actually, there's loads of operation. You can use it as a shutter for your camera, a mouse, or an ebook, ebook flip function, you know, the page functions, or a game reader. Stand by button X at the same time. And it says joystick can change to mouse function. So you move the joystick, the mouse cursor moves on screen. If you press the power and the A at the same time, switch to music mode. And if you move the mouse function to the default power, press the power and the A at the same time, you put it. But if you're permanently in the joystick mode, uh, sorry, mouse mode, which is what you'll want for your VR experience, you'll do that. So apparently, it's an e-book mode. It uses the volume button now. The volume button is actually iOS and Android keys. So it's a e-book mode, so I'm quite glad that's why I'm also interested. God, there's a whole big section on pairing it and all sorts. Just, so just because it paired easily, don't assume it's going to do what you want right away. Right, so let's try the headset again. If I click the welcome video and I push the start button now on the actual unit, it loads the welcome video. Amazing. Hooray! Oh wow! I'm seeing a huge sphere of all the videos on my phone and as I move my head around I can actually select them and behind me just here is a big cinema screen and the effect is quite dramatic actually. Oh, I can pause it. Okay, great. And just so I'm just looking around and I can see uh, various videos I've made, some for YouTube, some for other things. Pictures of the kids, all sorts of things like that. And it's, it's really impressive. I'm not even sure where you are now. I'm gonna have to look. Ha! <laughs> Unbelievable! See, I actually, I genuinely thought I was looking at the uh, camera through that. The effect is absolutely stunning. I have to say, it's, it's remarkable. So for £20 for this unit and £5 for this, or you could probably get a bundle on Amazon. If I find any, I'll drop a link in the uh, box below. Please try it out and let me know how you get on with this. I think this is a, a really lovely technology and it's quite comfortable. I think I could wear this for quite a long time and it might be nice to bring it on an aeroplane or something. As long as you can calibrate where the centre bit is so you can watch a movie without turning your head. And I'm, I'm sure there's a way of driving this without having to crane your neck because that would be odd in an aeroplane. But the quality of the picture is, is remarkably good considering, you know, you're just multitasking your camera for this. So all in all, go out and watch it. And as ever, thanks for watching.